हाँ जी नहीं हाँ जी लाइक करना Good evening and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to robotics. Today I'm going to discuss about surgeon powered robotics, our initial experience with articulating instruments in colorectal surgery. I am Dr. Asif Almasal. Now uh, this topic might sound a little difficult but I'll try to make it sound as simple as possible. So please uh, have some patience and listen. Now, uh, firstly, uh, I have to disclose that I have no financial interest or affiliations concerning the materials discussed in this presentation. I am only interested in the concept. Let's go through some background. Now, laparoscopic surgery has been the gold standard surgery for almost all colorectal surgeries. We know the in, uh, straight instruments and their limitations. We always wanted them to be articulated. Articulated means the movement, the more degrees of freedom. We always wanted this, but unfortunately, the initial uh, instruments that were made were very clumsy and impractical to use. So, we decided to use the robotic platform. As you can see, in the robotic platform, a surgeon's hand movement is converted by a robotic platform into the movement of the instruments. So that means a surgeon cannot directly control the instruments. Instead, a robot has to power the instruments so that the instrument moves. So these are called robotic powered instruments. Now, there are some great surgeries being done all over the world using the robotic platform, but there were some drawbacks. Now the biggest drawback as you can see, the robotic is, robotics is very, very expensive. Now even for a country like Bangladesh, it costs about 22 crores and that is without tax. Even in India, our neighboring country, they have 71 robotic installations and they have done more than 12,000 surgeries in the last 12 years. In Bangladesh, the numbers are very disappointing. So what is the solution? Now, a company, different companies in the world, they came out with a solution where the power, the robotic power is uh, given, provided by the surgeon himself. That's why these instruments are called articulated instruments or surgeon powered robotics. Probably sounds better, that's why they call it that. Uh, so th what it does now, the surgeon can directly control the instruments without the help of a robot. So what we did is we uh, did 20 surgeries using uh, this robotic platform, sorry, this um, articulated instruments and compared them with straight instruments and what we found, let me show you, but first let me show you the video. Uh, this is in 3D uh, format, uh, sorry for my handwriting, it's not very good. So we start with the sacral promontory. Now this is an anterior resection, actually this is an ultralow anterior resection, so we were going for the high ligation. Now, two places are most challenging. Number one is the dissection of the inferior mesenteric artery where we have to uh, preserve the superior hypogastric plexus, the aorta, but at the same time uh, highly li high ligation of the inferior mesenteric artery is necessary if we want to take all the lymph nodes here and also if we want to get the length. So as you can see the Articulating instruments, with the help of the articulating instruments, we can do all the sweeping movements and which are uh, quite nice. Uh, actually, the, probably the surgeon is going too fast, but actually this is a 3x video, that means it's uh, sped up three times. Actually, the surgeon is doing this in much slower pace. You have to be very, very clear, very, very careful. As you can see, these are the small bowel. You cannot injure the small bowel. The aorta is over there, the superior mesenteric uh, sorry, the superior hypogastric plexus is over here somewhere. So you have to be very, very careful. Uh, this is actually an uh, obese patient. I, uh, uh, de I deliberately tried to get this video because you have to see how difficult it can sometimes be if we are doing it on an obese patient. This is inferior mesenteric vein. So the, if, you, uh, if you look carefully, this 
Here is the superior hypogastric plexus over here. You have to be very, very, very careful here. So the surgeon is sweeping down the superior hypogastric plexus here. Uh, this is also an articulating clip applicator. So this is how you resect, uh, excise. Then uh, they start the pelvic dissections. Actually, we have a shortage of time, so I can't show you the whole video. So what are the results? Now, time to tra rectal transaction, if you see. As you can see, the articulating instrument takes at least 30 minutes less time. Time to operative time, again, less in case of the articulating instruments. Estimated blood loss, it's similar. Lymph node, uh, it's also similar. Length of hospital stay is also similar. So what is the conclusion? The conclusion is anterior resection with articulating instruments is feasible and safe with, oncological, with good oncological outcome. So what does the future hold? Now, let me first tell you, I am not against robotics. I think robotics is absolutely necessary and the future is robotics, but it is too expensive at this moment for Bangladesh. So we should look for an alternative solution, which is cheaper, which is easier for our surgeons, surgeons like me, to buy and use it. And hope someday the government will pay for the cost of the robot or a corporate hospital, or hopefully one surgeon will be rich enough to buy it. But we have to wait for that day. And I'm sure we can do great, great things with the robotic platform and if a good surgeon does the work with a robot. So, I know what exactly what you are thinking. You are thinking, will robots replace human surgeons? Well, I don't know whether robots will replace human surgeons, but one thing is for sure. Surgeons with robots will replace surgeons without using robots. Thank you.